We're often asked if losing weight could help Achilles tendonitis. And the short answer is yes, it can, but not for the reason you're thinking. The extra weight doesn't really matter. Let me explain. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from TreatMyAchilles.com, where you can get online physiotherapy assessment as well as treatment of any type of Achilles injury, all done via video call. So it doesn't really matter where in the world you are. Now, I realize this sounds a bit weird. I mean, how can you properly treat an Achilles tendon via video call? Are you not supposed to be touching the person? But actually, no. For Achilles injuries, rehab and exercises is the most important part of the treatment. And that we can easily teach and assess via video call. If you're not convinced, have a look at the description of this video. I'll put a link there to a video Alison made where she explains it all in detail. There are a few things we need to just quickly recap so that you understand the rest of this video better. The main thing is that tendons are made up of collagen mostly. And with your Achilles tendon, there's lots and lots of collagen fibers um, packed really tightly together. And collagen is super strong stuff. Now, when you have Achilles tendonitis or tendinopathy, a small portion of that tendon is injured. And in that area, the, te the fibers lose their alignment and they're just not as strong as before. So now the tendon becomes irritated and you can't quite do as much exercise and things as before because it doesn't have the capacity for that. Good news is this can all be turned around and there are treatments that's well evidenced that work for it. I've made videos about those. So if you're interested in that, look at the description of this video. But the main thing to remember here is that tendons are made of collagen fibers and it's the collagen fibers that's affected by being overweight. So let's dive deeper into that. There are two possible reasons why being overweight could either cause Achilles tendonitis or maybe hamper your progress when you're doing your rehab for it. The first is the obvious one that we all think about immediately. It's like, well, it's extra weight. So obviously the Achilles tendon has to work harder, which can overwhelm it more easily. Secondly, we also know that being overweight and carrying extra fat around the belly, for instance, can affect your blood chemistry levels and cause things like prediabetes or diabetes, as well as change your lipid le levels and cause chronic low level inflammation, which might affect the tendons. But these are just my two theories. So we need to check if there's any evidence actually in real life, as well as in the research to support either of these. So let's first look at the most common thing we all think about, which is the extra weight overworking the Achilles tendon. Well, if we just look at general life, if it was true that a heavier person is more prone to getting Achilles injuries or struggling to recover, then just generally heavy people like bodybuilders would really struggle with their Achilles tendons and struggle to recover. And that's just not something we see in practice. So it might not actually be the extra weight that's the issue. But let's look at what the research shows. The first interesting study is one that was conducted in South Korea, and they looked at 16.8 million people's records over an eight-year period. And the things they were interested in was their BMI, so whether they were classed as underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese, as well as their waist circumference, so measurement around the waist, how big their beer belly was basically. There were three interesting findings from this study. The first is that the people with the highest BMI had the highest risk of both Achilles tendon tears as well as Achilles tendinopathy. The people with the larger waist circumference had a higher risk for Achilles tendinopathy but not tears. But if they had the combination of having a really high BMI as well as a, a large waist circumference, these people were at the highest risk of getting an Achilles tendon tear or tendinopathy. So from this study, we can see that, yes, being overweight is a problem, but we're still not sure, is it the weight or is it the blood chemistry? There's another useful systematic review that came out where they actually looked at all the tendons in the body and how obesity affected those. And what they found was that obese people were more likely to get tendon tears as well as tendinopathy in all areas of the body. So including the shoulder and the elbow. Now, you're not carrying extra weight through your shoulder or your elbow when you've got, um, when you're overweight. So that's starting to indicate for me that perhaps the extra weight you're carrying when you're overweight is not the issue, but rather the changes in blood chemistry that comes with that. So let's look at the research specific to how your blood chemistry changes with being overweight affects tendons. 
it's been well established that if you've got extra weight around your, your belly, that usually indicates that you've got extra weight around your organs or extra fat around the organs. And that fat releases specific hormones that eventually can lead to things like prediabetes, increased lipids, lipids in your blood, cholesterol we're talking about here, as well as full-blown type 2 diabetes. If we look at lipids first, which is your cholesterol, there's quite a few studies that's indicated how that can negatively affect tendons. In one study, the researchers looked at people who already had chronic mid-portion Achilles tendinopathy. So that means a long period of time that it's just not recovering. And they found that when they compared them to a group of people who didn't have tendinopathy, who had the same BMI of the same age and was health-wise similar to, to the other people, that these people with a chronic tendinitis tended to have a blood lipid level, so cholesterol levels, that was more in line with what you see when people have metabolic syndrome, which means that they had higher triglycerides and more of the bad cholesterol and less of the good cholesterol. In lab studies where they look at the effect of bad cholesterol on collagen production, so how many of the cells are produced and how easily, they found that high levels of bad cholesterol can dial down your production of collagen. So this is one way that being overweight and having high bad cholesterol levels could affect tendons, that you're not that good, your body's not that good then to actually produce new collagen and therefore your rehab may take longer. There are also animal studies where they found that really high bad cholesterol levels in rats as well as um, rabbits affected their tendon health. So to summarize the evidence around cholesterol and Achilles health, there is some evidence that some people with chronic Achilles tendonitis has higher bad cholesterol levels and triglyceride levels. Now, remember, it's not going to be everybody, but in some cases it may be that. And there is also some evidence that high levels of bad cholesterol can dial down your collagen production, which may then actually mean that your tendon is more prone to injury, but also doesn't recover as quickly. It may take a little bit longer. If we look specifically at the blood chemistry changes that we get with diabetes, then there is evidence that people with diabetes have more messier collagen in their tendons. And that means that the tendons can become a bit thicker and a little bit less healthy. But there's also the hormones produced by fat cells themselves. And this is the fat cells under the skin. Now, fat cells normally produce leptin, which is a hormone. And it's not a problem if you're not heavily overweight. But if you carry a lot of extra weight, there's a lot of extra leptin in your body. And that has been shown to push collagen um, cells towards a little bit earlier aging and dial down the collagen repair cycle as well. So again, it can just predispose you to overwhelm your tendon more quickly because the collagen can't renew so quickly and it can prevent it from healing as quickly. So it's going to take longer. So I can summarize my advice like this. Please do not worry about carrying a few extra pounds. We're meant to have fat. Fat is beneficial for us and it's, it's needed for our survival. If you're underweight, it's just as bad as being really overweight. So don't think that all fat is bad. But if you are going to be um, nearing the level where you are classed as being overweight, significantly overweight or even obese, then yes, the changes that comes with that, it's not about how much weight you're carrying. It's more to do with blood chemistry. And that can actually mean that your tendon doesn't react as quickly to the rehab exercises and may stay um, painful for longer. So absolutely, in those cases, losing some extra weight can be beneficial alongside all the other treatments, which is a proper loading plan and doing the rehab exercises and everything that your physio can help you with. I realize that it can be really difficult to lose weight if your Achilles tendon is painful and you can't actually do exercise that easily. But there's always something you can do and alternatives you can do. And that is part of what we do for our patients is we try to work out alternative exercise plans and things that can keep them sane and active while that Achilles tendon is recovering. We've also got loads of other videos that can be useful for painful tendons because sometimes just choosing the right shoes can make a massive difference to how much strain your Achilles tendon takes. So if you're interested in that, I'll put some more links in the description, but also just go through our playlists that we've got on the web, um, on our channel. And our website also has a wealth of information. 
Let me know if you've got any questions. And if you need more help with an injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link is in the description of this video. Take care.